Hey, good afternoon. It's July 1st, 2024. I'm just going to be taking out this two owner 1993 Mercedes Benz 300 CE Cabriolet. The car has 118,072 miles. It has every service record from the date it was purchased. It's only had two owners. Original owner was a doctor from the state of Georgia. And uh, we have records going back to the day he purchased the car. We even have notes from the original owner, various magazine articles prior to him purchasing this car. Uh, we have the original window sticker, original sales agreement, uh, original books, three original keys, original windscreen, first aid kit, spare, tools. I mean, this car is, in, in my opinion, in the last 20 years, this is one of the most documented cars I've ever seen. Uh, I don't think they changed the fuse on this car without it being documented. I drove this car um, this week on the highway for approximately 50 miles. The car, the best way to describe the drive quality is as close to new as you're going to find. Everything on this car is well sorted. Um, there's three potential issues that you can have on a 124 car. Uh, a cabriolet especially um, number one being the wiring harness uh, the wiring harness is documented as being upgraded in 2005 uh, the second thing is these cars have known to have some seepage around the head gasket the head gasket on this car was changed in 2001 and the final issue that that plagues all these convertible cars that have hydraulic cylinders is the seepage, uh, the leakage of the hydraulic cylinders. It's a time related issue. It's going to happen on all these cars. All of the soft top hydraulics were updated in 2021 at uh, a marquee specialist in Lakewood, New Jersey, Autobahn Automotive. They did all of the soft top hydraulics using rebuilt uh, cylinders from top hydraulics in Oregon. The drive quality of this car, I, I cannot get over how nice this car drives. Uh, the car is finished in, um, it's either astral silver or brilliant silver. I, I don't know what they called it this year in 93. Um, but it's finished in silver. The uh, body of the car is amazingly straight. Uh, glass is beautiful. The bright work is beautiful. The paint is mostly all original as far as I can see. It does have some patina from age and that will be shown in all the photographs. But overall the car is extremely stunning. It, uh, just a beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, the wheels, the original wheels are in excellent condition. The car is wearing a fairly newer set of Continental tires on all four corners. The current owner purchased this car from the original owners, I believe somewhere around 2019, 2020. I will uh, show that in my photos, all the receipts. He did not open checkbook as far as maintenance on this car. All the service work was done at Audubon Automotive in Seeger, in Seeger, New Jersey. They used to be in Lakewood, but they're in Seeger now. They're a marquee specialist. They specialize in German cars. He had this car serviced annually, and whenever he noticed anything, he brought it over there and he had it serviced. He has a plethora of receipts. This is a prime example of, of a car that has higher miles, a 30-year-old car that has been maintained by two enthusiasts its entire life. Soft top is in absolutely beautiful condition. 
the canvas is very very nice the uh, the headliner is very clean there's no sag to the headliner whatsoever uh, the dash is beautiful the wood is absolutely gorgeous it has a nice vibrant color to it it's not uv damaged you can see it has the bright orange gauge needles the leather in this car is drop dead gorgeous uh, it was cared for um, the car also has in 93 i believe they called the the later models they called it the multi-contour seats but these are the orthopedic seats and they they work flawlessly the seats on this car are extremely comfortable all the bladders open and close as intended uh, another item of note that works on this car is both of the seat belt presenters work flawlessly this is a really really super nice car two owners from new I uh, when I saw the file of service records from the second owner uh, it's literally about this thick and I told him I said it, it looks like the Old Testament in the Bible I mean there's so many service records <clears throat> the original owner even kept a spreadsheet from new up until about 2009 where he documented every service everything that's been done to this car the car drives absolutely fantastic the brakes are fantastic the suspension is fantastic the steering everything is tight I mean this is this is a really really nice car uh, it's amazing you get a lot of these people that are mileage buyers it's not the mileage of the car I mean I've seen very very low mileage cars that I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole because they were just neglected. They had so many needs. And, you know, if I bought the car, it would be at my mechanics for months fixing everything that's broken. This car, everything, everything is in proper working order. Look at how nice this car drives down the road. That's 60 miles an hour now. Cruise control works perfectly. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful car. Um, car's a winner. It's loaded with every option. It has a six disc CD changer, orthopedic seats. It has the heated seats. Um, there's a few other options. I have the original window sticker. This car in 1983, going off memory, I believe the window sticker was $84,000 in 1993. I mean, that, that's a lot of money. The straight six motor on this car, I believe this was the first year of the M104 motor or the second year. Um, I believe this produces about a little over 220 horsepower. It's got plenty of get up and go. Car drives amazingly tight. It's extremely clean under the hood, underneath. And as I mentioned a few times already, I hate to sound redundant, but it is one of the most thoroughly documented cars that I've ever seen. The car even comes with a, a, a penny from 1993 and a small little picture of the original owner. The original owner was a physician down in Georgia and um, everything, Everything that's ever been done to this car has been documented. Just a beautiful, beautiful car. And it will be selling on Bring a Trailer auctions. It will be a no reserve auction coming soon. Uh, prospective bidders are more than welcome to come check the car out. Uh, it's located here in central New Jersey, but it will be going for auction on Bring a Trailer auctions as a no reserve auction. So today's July 1st, 2024. I just want to wish everyone the best of luck.